Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I am gonna show, I'm gonna make a super saw on the Argon 8 uh, from scratch. Uh, we, needed, uh, we needed this type of sound for a uh, song that we were doing. And it turned out I liked the, uh, the characteristics of the super saw on the Argon 8. So I thought this is worth making a video about. Uh, lots of synths can do this, right? Uh, so it's certainly not, uh, uh, it's not quite unique, but the thing is the way that you build sounds on the Argon 8, it has a lot of motion inside of it, which I really, really liked. Uh, so I'll show you that. So let's just start from the beginning. I've got good old init patch, okay, factory init. Uh, step one is you're going to set wave one and wave two uh, just by their default uh, virtual analog wave set. You're going to go and just set them all the way to the right so you get all the way to the uh, very, very bright sound uh, to the saw. And uh, now what I'm going to do is put the mix in the middle. So step two is put the mix in the middle so you hear both of them. Step three is you're going to detune one of them up and one of them down. So you're gonna take wave one and you're gonna use the um, fine tune. So I'm gonna hold the shift key and I'm gonna fine tune this one actually up. So I'm gonna do up, I'm gonna do uh, seven. So I'm gonna do plus seven on wave one. And then on wave two, I'm gonna do minus seven. So here's what that sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so that was step three. Step four is you're gonna add uh, some release onto the envelope, just like that. And then uh, step five is you can add some spread. So I'm gonna put that at 20 to start off with. Okay, and step six, to add even more body, you can use distortion. So I'm gonna put distortion at about 20. Okay, so that's kind of, that's already kind of in a. That's definitely getting into that super saw territory. But now what I'm going to do is show you if you want something a little different because everybody has different tastes on this. I'm going to put the spread at about 40 and I'm also going to put the distortion at about 40. This is more detuned, but you know, depending on what you like. And if you want something thinner and detuned, you can just take the distortion out that. And if you want something bigger, you, even bigger, then I use stack two a lot. So I'm going to add, uh, this is kind of getting into these optional steps. The first ones that I did is kind of how you do it. I would just stop there and explore. But uh, what you can do is you can add um, uh, stack two. So it's going to play two voices every time I press a key. And I'm going to crank up my voice width to 127. And I'm going to add some drift about 80 so I'll do that. Uh, one, I think I've covered this before, but one thing I do a lot on the Argon 8, if you start editing something and it's changing on the screen, you can use the uh, stepped knob next to it to get the exact value that you want. So you don't sit here fishing, you know, trying to get, you know, like 60, if you have that in your head and just want to put that in. Um, so anyway, here's what that sounds like. Uh, much bigger. And now we're going to add distortion back in. So I'll put in about 20. Okay, and distortion's the only effect there, so it's pretty pretty dry signal. The only thing that's happening is the uh, amp envelope, which we could add a little more release if we wanted to. But what I'm going to do is uh, just add on some effects. So I'm going to load up a, an effect uh, preset set, and then uh, let's add some delay. Okay, let me put a lot of. I'll do a lot of it just so so you can hear it really well. Still can't hear it really well. Oh, well now I'm hearing it too much. So let me actually slow that down. I want that to be probably dotted eighth. There we go. That's kind of cool. I mean, I know that's exaggerated, but still it's kind of cool. So 
Um, another uh, thing that you can do is you can obviously filter this. You can do all sorts of things. Uh, I'm not going to go through a lot of that because I just want to keep it more pure on just getting a really bright uh, saw lead that you can uh, plug in. And um, I'm going to load up the one now that we actually used in the track so uh, to show you that. And I'll play the line from the track too. So if you hear this in the future on, <laughs> you know, on Spotify or something, uh, you know, then you'll know where it came from. So this is, uh, this is what's on the song. So here we go. All right, and then I'm going to show you one last sound that I did just because I was playing around with saws and, and working on that on the Argon 8. Uh, and I'll, I'll post this uh, patch, uh, and I'll also post um, this next patch I'll show you. So see if you can name this song. I love this song. <laughs> All right, I'll play it one more time because <laughs> I just enjoy it. The harder I hit the key, the different you get a little bit of a different uh, resonant sweep on it. Now, I actually think the synthesizer can get that like almost exactly. I really think, I mean, I was playing around with some of the uh, filters and stuff, but you can really get uh, into that territory with the synthesizer. So anyway, I had some fun with the, uh, uh, just using the basic saw waveform. There's nothing wrong with, um, you know, those classics because they, they produce so many uh, harmonics to work with uh, that you can just, you can do really cool stuff and this can, this can do it too. It's not, it's not constrained, you know, to doing just, you know, sweeping through different uh, wave sets. Uh, so anyway, that's it for now. Thank you very much. Uh, take it easy and uh, I'll see you next time.